Let's bring in Yasmin Sharifa. She's the director of Education Cannot Wait, United Nations Global Billion Dollar Fund for Education in Emergencies and Protracted Crises. Good to have you with us uh, from uh, New York. So how alarming is this for the generation that was forced to do remote learning for such a long period of time? Thank you very much for having me with Al Jazeera and um, to represent us and speak to these numbers. Uh, a few years ago, when Education Cannot Wait, the United Nations Global Fund for Education in emergencies and crisis, there was an estimated 75 million children and youth, half of them girls, 39 million, in situations of conflict, we speak Middle East, Sub-Saharan Africa, or refu refugees, Latin America, uh, Asia, Afghanistan, Bangladesh. Today, the number has skyrocketed to a shocking 222 million children and adolescents, half of them girls, who are suffering in, in situations of conflict, climate-induced disasters, and refugees, whose education has been severely disrupted, in addition to their existing crisis, as a result also of COVID-19. And when we talk about remote learning, what about those who perhaps have no access to things like computers and tablets at home? Well, I can say that the majority of the 222 million children and youth that live in situations like Syria, uh, Yemen, Gaza, uh, in um, Mali, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic, South Sudan, do not have access to the technology required for remote learning because the infrastructure is simply not there. So this, the, I would say that the divide that has, has been disclosed as a result of COVID-19 has also shown uh, the learning divide and the technology divide that exists between those who have and those who don't. And what can and should be done to catch up, as it were? Well, what is important now is that the world, the humanity at large, uh, governments uh, who, who have the ability to be international donors, uh, high net individuals uh, and uh, private sector step up and share the responsibility to ensure that these 222 million children and youth who are already suffering from crisis and COVID-19 have the ability to um, learn and continue learning and resume learning. Uh, we at Education Cannot Wait work with the UN system and civil society and governments in these countries to deliver education. In a recent, our annual report of 2021, we have now reached a total of 7 million children and youth, half of them girls, through holistic uh, approach, sometimes with remote learning and technology, but very seldom so, and mostly through other innovative and creative ways of delivering education and support teachers. We'll have to leave it there, Yasmin Sharif. We appreciate your input. Thank you. Thank you so much to you.